Coming up, Bank of America says there's almost no reason to own Bitcoin. Morgan Stanley, they're going to offer it to their clients. Does this mean crypto is going mainstream? And why can't the banks agree? Bitcoin billionaire Brock Pierce joins me in moments to give it to you. Oh, right here, right now. Still wondering if you should jump into the crypto craze this week? Bitcoin surged to record levels at 60,000 clams. Big banks still very divided on the hype. Morgan Stanley reportedly becoming the first major financial firm to offer their clients access to the cryptocurrency. Bank of America says there's almost no good reason to own, own Bitcoin. So who is right and who is wrong? Joining me now, venture capitalist and chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation. Brock Pierce is back. Welcome back, Brock. Oh, thank you so much for having me back. Glad to be here. So Bank of America is saying that there's absolutely no reason to own Bitcoin because uh, there's nothing to protect you from inflation. Is this like a typewriter salesman trying to talk you out of buying a computer? <laughs> yeah, it certainly uh, sounds like it or the uh, the person that was selling horse and carriage saying don't buy one of those new automobiles um, uh, definitely feels that way. And I think that they're kind of, uh, well, we have a lot of other data points right now. BNY Mellon has announced that they're going to be offering crypto custody this year, and they're the oldest bank in the United States and the largest custodial bank in the world. Uh, we've got PayPal. We've got MasterCard integrating. It's, um, it's definitely one of those moments where the world is changing. Technology is clearly playing a, a, a critical role in making those changes. And the question is, are you banking with a bank that understands the future and and where we're going, or are you with one of those banks that might be uh, might be left in the dust? So, are they scared of it, or do they just not understand what what is driving this sort of institutional hesitancy? Well, I'm, I'm not, I can't say for them if it's a a fear based statement. Uh, or if, you know, the banks do have a track record of this. I mean, J.P. Morgan did a lot of this. Jamie Dimon is out there saying, oh, Bitcoin bad. This is all bad. Well, at the same time, his firm was investing more money in developing technology around Bitcoin's technology than any other bank in the world. So uh, they do have a habit of saying one thing while doing another. So I can't say for certain what is going on with Bank of America. But what I can say is every time someone has provided financial advice historically, they've been wrong and at the expense of the people they've been advising. And uh, again, time will tell if uh, Bank of America is advising people correctly in this instance or not. So far, everyone that has done it has been wrong. And what does this do for Bitcoin and for uh, cryptocurrency in general? Is this only good for Bitcoin or is this good for uh, Ethereum and uh, other Dogecoin, which the young people love. They love the Dogecoin. <laughs> well, I mean, e even what Bank of America has done here, and thank you, Bank of America, just the fact that we're having this conversation is a good thing uh, for the ecosystem. As they say, all press is good press. Uh, we're continuing to increase awareness. My estimates are that roughly 10% of Americans now own some amount of cryptocurrency. And yes, what is good for Bitcoin is good for the broader ecosystem. Certainly those things that have real technology, that have real merit, uh, Ethereum being one of them. Uh, yeah. Ethereum has been performing as well as Bitcoin. Um, and again, I don't advise people to invest in these things. I advise people to invest in themselves. If you haven't bought any Bitcoin or you haven't bought any Ethereum, go out and buy $10, buy $20. Go to find out what this is all about so that you can make informed decisions for yourself. Certainly, um, uh, I wouldn't be taking advice from anyone, Bank of America, most importantly. Should I ask my employer to pay me in Bitcoin? Well, the mayor of Miami uh, is giving the municipal employees that option. Uh, the yeah. country of Dubai is planning to put the entire nation on the blockchain. Clearly, there must be something going on here of significance. And I get it. For people that don't understand it, we fear that which we don't understand. But it's very easy. How do you conquer fear? You conquer fear with knowledge. And so the future is going to happen to you or it's going to happen with you. And yes. I encourage you to be part of the change. I want every American to be a beneficiary of this change. Amen. Hopefully it happens with you on a giant yacht. Brock, thank you so much. <laughs> Always going to talk to you. Come back anytime. Thank you for having me.